Hey y'all, it's a great day for a great day. We got a lot of sunshine today and we're gonna go to a place that everybody goes to at some point so they can go to it. Everybody goes so they can go. We're going to a truck stop, but not just any truck stop. We're going to a truck stop that has a song written about it. I'm not exactly sure where it is, but we're close. We're gonna zoom in on it. So come on, let's go to Love's. Mark's gotta eat. Follow that truck and step on it. Look at this. Oh my goodness. You know what we got right here? We got a convoy. That's what it would appear to be. I don't know that we want to go here. I'm serious, do we? I don't know how long it takes to get in here. This is a conundrum. I think we found it. I think we have found Loves. So Loves is one of those places that really, really does cater to trucks. And trucks, as you may or may not know, account for about 72% thereabouts of all goods and services that are moved through this country. And it's like $12 billion or so. It's a lot. And if you use stuff, you can thank a truck. And one of the things you know if you've ever driven any distance is that it's nice to find a clean bathroom and something decent to eat or drink in a comfortable setting where you could just relax for a minute. And that's what Love's caters to. <laughs> All right, this place is like an oasis in the desert if you're on the road. Right, I bet they got coffee too. Good snacks, jerky. That's the water right there, man. You thirsty? Ah, uh, right. Good, good, how are you? Good. Ooh, you should get a safety vest. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, if you've ever been in a truck though and you need something, pliers or straps or cables, whatever, they got it, they got it. Uh, spare gas tanks, <laughs> usually because yours got broken, not because you forgot it. What are you for right here? Yes, sir. Let's see what we can grab something to eat. All right, so what do you want? What sounds good to you? Are you gonna roll it? I think, yeah, let's do that. I think, does that look better? All right, what do you think? I don't know, the one that's still cooking doesn't look as good. Still cooking doesn't look as good. Uh, hey, let's let's get one. I'm going maple sausage. We didn't even look at these over here. Oh, you want to, okay. All right, what are you, yeah, I'm, uh, the, oh, a cheeseburger. I have never seen that before. I haven't seen that one before. Grab one of these guys. So I got my bun and I'm gonna grab my tongs. All right, sweet and smoky or maple? I'm thinking maple sausage. How, how could I not do that? I think if I did, I'd pay for two. All right, I got that. Let's get a close up of this bad boy. Yeah. Yum. All right. Um, and, and I need to get some uh, mustard. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's cheese and chili. You want cheese on your... Uh... I don't think I want cheese on my maple sausage. I think I'm just going to do uh, just gonna do regular mustard. Have you been seeing the uh, con controversy on the uh, internet about do you put your mustard in the refrigerator after you open it or do you leave it out? Is that a controversy? That's a huge controversy. You need to check it out. Tell me what you think. Ooh. 
mustard dispensed. Do you need to get the? You need to. Do you need to get the big I need, thirty-two? Look at the. It's only three fifty-nine. Yeah, I think I do. I think I. I think I need a lot to drink, and it's gonna come in one of those. A jumbo mug. Yeah, I think so. I like it. So that's a, isn't that a 52? Do, do, I, do I get to fill it up if I buy one? Yes, or? sir. Oh, okay. Of course. <laughs> All right. Yum. You gotta open this up if I'm gonna fill it up. Save the barcode. Nope, still got the barcode. All right. Good Lord, look at the size of this. I could sleep in here. You going coffee in that? Watch the sausage. Oh, I'll carry your, I'll carry your hot dog. Don't let it roll off, because it will, you know. All right. You going cappuccino in there? Uh, that's a lot of. That's a lot of coffee, 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 coffee. <laughs> oh man, well I know this. Mucho mango. What is mucho mango? All right. All right, I'm gonna give it a rinse. All right, here comes the ice. You know what we didn't think about? I don't. What cup holder is that gonna go in? <laughs> <laughs> That's another ancillary purchase. <laughs> All right, what drink do I want in here? Do you think 52 ounces of Mountain Dew? I know I can't do Dr. Pepper because it's so misunderstood. Uh, uh, you know what? How good an old guy am I? You just got five gold stars. I am drinking. 52 gallons of water. Ounces. Oh, ounces. <laughs> I think you'd literally die if you drank It, it just gallons. seems like 52 gallons. All right, let's ring it up and go eat. Mm. So this is kind of cool. Check this out. You got plugs in the seat so you can recharge your phone if you want. And she told me that all I gotta do is bring this in and I can pay just a refill charge when I get a drink. Pretty good. All right, let's check this puppy out, see what it tastes like. You know what? It's pretty good. I don't know what it's gonna to do to my insides, but it's pretty good. I know that. Got a nice crunch to it on the outside, a little pop, and meaty on the inside. Like a maple Polish sausage. It yeah, it has a texture like a Polish sausage. Customer, so it's good. I, I wasn't kidding when I said everything moves by truck, or lots of stuff. Most stuff moves by truck, and so one of the things that I always think of is music, obviously that goes with these shoots. The oldest truck song that I remember that really stuck in my head was Six Days on the Road by Dave Dudley. Six Days on the Road by Dave Dudley talks about a guy that's been burning it on the highway for six days and he's finally making his way home. And sometimes when we go on the road, I anyway just think of it as a vacation. But these guys wake up on whatever, you know, Monday morning and off they go and they don't come back until Sunday night. They're constantly driving. Well, this song tells that story. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Another great one is, I mean, a classic, East Bound and Down by Jerry Reed. Tells a story about him having to go get beer in Texarkana and get it back to Atlanta within, I don't know, what was it, a 48 hour time period or something? They make a bet. They're making a run for Coors, which used to only be available across the uh, Mississippi River. Another one you ask? Yes, there was. 18 Wheels and a Dozen Roses. Kathy Matea, wonderful <coughs> song about a guy who's been driving for 30 years. He must be exhausted. And he's finally going home. <laughs> anyway, watch it. It's a great video. Old, but great. 
And the last one that I remember pulling up was uh, one talking all about CB radios. I don't know if you're an older guy like me, you remember this before cell phones, CB radios ruled the, the, uh, ruled the day for talking. And all these trucks would bunch up together and talk about where the police were hanging out with speed traps. And anyway, the song was called Convoy. I think the guy that did it was C.W. McCall. So we'll post that link too. It's a fun song. Mm. Pardon me while I dive into my drink. Thor shower mm. is ready. Please proceed to shower six. So truck movies, we were talking about songs. Steven Spielberg's first movie that he did was a movie called Duel with Dennis Weaver, where Dennis Weaver is in a regular sedan and he's being challenged by an 18-wheeler that he cut off earlier. And it's really a movie about road rage and all the imagination. 59, Thor Shower is ready. Please proceed to Shower 6. I'll be right back after I shower. <laughs> Go to the bathroom and just wipe your hair. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, if you get a chance to rent it, rent Duel and watch it. It's an old movie, but it's very tense. Believe it or not, it's very little dialogue. It's really a good, suspenseful movie. The other movie that's a really fun movie about trucks, there's just a scene, we'll look for it. If we can find it, we'll post it, but it's Bill Murray in a movie called Larger Than Life. And he has to rent an 18-wheeler from a company that rents them but he has no idea how to drive one, but he lies and says he does, and he finds himself behind the wheel of an 18-wheeler. It's hilarious if you like Bill Murray, you're gonna to wanna to check this out too. Mm. You know what, I believe that we have a trucker, I think we have a trucker that subscribed to our channel, certainly that watches and has made comments. If you're out there, give us a shout, tell us what life is like riding in a truck all day. And is Love's your go-to? Or is there another truck stop you always look for? I think there was a, what What are the other truck stops? 76, Union 76 or? JP. No, there, I mean, you know, anyway. Hey, if you drive a truck and you're watching or have watched, let us know, we'd love to hear that. It used to be that there weren't so many chains and franchises that paired up with the truck stops. And so it was a little harder to get stuff to eat. My dad told me a joke, it's one of the earliest jokes I remember him telling me about a trucker, the older guy, and he was just tired. He pulled in to get a meal and get back on the road. And he pulled in, he went in, he knew the waitress because he made the run several times a month, ordered a steak, potato, salad. And just as they brought in, he's getting ready to eat. In come a group of bikers, 30, 40 of them. And the big gun, you know, the, the head honcho of the group walks up and just looks at him, sort of sizing him up, and then he picks up his steak knife and fork, cuts a big bite of the steak and eats it. Looks at the guy, the guy doesn't do anything. He said, yeah, I didn't think so. You're not much of a man. And he proceeds to eat the rest of the steak and offer it to the other bikers that are with him, and they're laughing and mocking and eating his meal. And the guy finishes, uh, you know, watching him, never says anything. Door shower is ready. Motions for the he waitress. To shower pays the bill, gets up to leave. And as he's walking out and getting up in his truck, the waitress walks over to take the order of the trucker. Uh, <laughs> the waitress walks over to take the order of the biker. And he says, you know, I didn't think that truck driver had much grit to him. And the waitress looked at him and said, yeah, he ain't much of a truck driver either. He looks like he just accidentally backed over about 45 motorcycles out there. Mm. Coming to the end of this maple sausage dog, it was delicious. Hope you had fun hanging out with me today. I did it with you. And remember this, life is short, so enjoy every meal.